Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Gorilla Guitar Repair here, and we got something super cool today. Ready? This was uh, brought in by a, uh, a friend of mine. Sorry for the quick swing. It's got what it is on the side of the case, so we don't want to we don't want to spoil the surprise, right? All right, flick. That's not it. That's not it. Don't try to zoom in there. Ready? Ready? This is legit. Not even kidding. Yep. Look at that. That electric guitar is a 1964 The Quattro Fender Strato Castellar in this uh, really, really aged sunburst finish. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up. Stay tuned. This is, uh, this is a super cool guitar. Um, well, you don't see a lot of these in this condition. All right, you guys ready? Stay tuned. See ya. All right, there it is. This thing is beyond cool. Oh, first, first, before we take a walk around it, Powering on vintage lumens generator with custom red subscribe button. Nailed it. There you go. You guys do the same, please. I appreciate it. Anyway, back to this thing. Check this out. Look at that. We're going to try to uh, clean off what isn't finish. No, leave the filth. No. We're going to clean off what, need, what can come off. I know. I'm going to scrub all the tones out of it. But uh, we're also going to tear it down, take a look, and uh, see what's what. Clean out the electronics. Make sure it's all original. We we uh, believe it is. Um, the person that now owns this is uh, believes it to be authentic. So we're going to go on that assumption, but we're going to double check. Anyway, let's get you guys in a holder that doesn't move around so much. Um, ready, set, pause. All right, take it all in. That's what she said. You're gross. So let's see what we can see. This thing is really, really cool. Um, okay, let's get the strings off. Uh, the owner, current owner, I believe, I believe, don't quote me on this because I, I don't sell guitars, but I believe this is going to be for sale. I don't, don't know, I don't know, don't know, don't know, don't care, okay? I just fix them. Um, but anyway, the current owner would like it to be cleaned up and made as nice as it can possibly look because it is, assuming it's all original, this is a very valuable instrument. Um, so we're gonna take some extra care with this one. We're gonna gently try to clean this finish, see what it comes, if it, if it looks like it's gonna get damaged, then we're not gonna do anything else to it. But I really think this is just a lot of old uh, DNA. We could probably make a, uh, we could probably clone four or five people from, or at least the last owner from this. So, uh, but yeah, check it out. It's been, it's been stevied. Huh? Look at this thing. Oh, look at the back. This is kind of exactly how you want to find an old Strat. Wow. This is, whoo, I'm a little jealous. I'm not a Fender guy, but I understand what, uh, just from the sight, you know, the setting of the neck, I understand why. They got the rep they did and how cool they were for the money they were. You know, this is it. This is what they still should be. The neck is a nice, I don't have any uh, neck measuring gauges, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice, I'm going to call it a C, C maybe with a little, like a, maybe with a little kind of a ridge on each side. So I don't know, it's between a C and a D, how about we call it that? which is my favorite size, by the way. Um, necks, I'm talking about necks. God, perverts. Um, but yeah, look at that. It's all nice and worn. Ding! Uh, let's see, look at that. There's a, oh, you serial number nerds. There you go, there it is. What is it? Uh, L82778. L for Leo. Leo Fender. 
So let's, uh, yeah, let's let's take her apart, see what we see. Ready? This is super cool. I get to do a lot of here. I'll even I'll even satisfy all the weenies out there here. Ready? Did you call us weenies? Yep, sure did. There you go. There you go. I'll take the tension off. Oh, oh man, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you guys are all happy now, right? Took the tension off. Oh. Lovely. Oh, I probably should have plugged. Let's at least make sure things work. All right, hold on. All right. I had to uh, take a little drink of coffee. In one of my last videos, somebody commented that uh, I don't need any more coffee. And it's like, I love coffee. So, uh, oop, ah, ooh, ah. That's a good sign. This is Dunkin' Espresso, Espresso Blend this morning. And it's like, what do you mean I don't need more coffee? I don't, I don't think I was all wound up about anything. I mean, maybe I could... There it is. There's a Stevie Band, right? Or no, it's a BB Band. Something like that. Lovely. Oh. That's wrong. I mean, it's right, but that should be a tray. Tray way switch. This hair is a uh, five way switch. So somebody changed that, I think. I don't think these had, what do you guys, do they have five-way? Ding! Um, so let's get this apart. Lovely, it all works. All right, volume. Ooh, that doesn't. Oh, der. Der. This for the other one, stupid. I was thinking backwards. Um, anyway, but yeah, some, somebody's giving me I think it was a joke. It's fine. I don't care. It's funny. Um, I don't take any offense, but he's like, you don't need any more coffee. I try to keep these things interesting. I mean, I, I've, I've watched a few videos out there of guys who do this, and I try not to be the, hi guys, this is a 1964 Fender Stratocaster. It's a, says it's a sun. I mean, who wants to hear that? God, put me to sleep. If you like that, that's cool. But, uh, this isn't supposed to be, uh, you know, nighttime white noise videos, right? Um, by the way, I appreciate everyone subscribing. It's super cool to see um, all the people joining up. I never thought I'd even get this much. Um, I thought about doing, since I've been watching them, I've been curious, if you guys are curious, um, how it works with the, the YouTubeage. Oop. Oh, bonk. I just knocked that into my... Don't worry, it's a lot. <laughs> There's a new dent. No. It was a lot easier than it sounded. It's also what she said. Oh, let's get this out of here. See, this is what happens when I try to talk and do and work and show you guys things. And, um, but anyway, I was thinking about doing a video about, you know, this is my experience with the YouTubing guys think of that I've, I've watched a few of those pretty interesting other channels i've never seen one about a music or guitar channel yet so i thought that might be a neat thing to do if you guys are interested in that um i'm pretty open and honest i'll tell you exactly here yes yes youtube has officially paid me they paid me Shh. that's what the video is gonna be about but yeah they did and uh, so I thought about making a video about that and oops, fuzz, fuzz and cats stuck to me. Um, just to uh, let you guys know exactly how much. Uh, I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll take a screenshot today because I think we're right at uh, six months. If you guys look at my channel, it goes back to like 2016. But that was when I made it to, for a video of my brother doing a drum thing on an electric drum set. I think he was trying to sell it or something. And so... Um, like we were just doing that, to, just for that. It was nothing. It wasn't for Gorilla Guitar Repair. It was like, I mean, my personal channel. Um, so, if you look at my first video, it's right around seven months ago. And being that I just got the deposit, I think, this past week, it takes like a month. So, it'd be like a, after six months, 
what happens. What do you guys think? Interesting. I'll tell you exactly the exactly what it is. I'll take a screenshot. I don't care. It's uh, it's all. The only way I did it is because people are actually watching these these silly videos. So why not share the information, right? Oh, look at that incoming Bosch. Woo! I almost forgot. Oh, I uh. I premiered a video this morning of another super cool old guitar. Um, I hope you guys like it. It was a, It's really fun. It's still in the shop. Oh, it's a great time for a photo op, isn't it? <gasps> I think, unless the guy, he might have picked it up last night. I think it was a rush. We'll see. If it's still in the shop, we're going to do some cool pictures. All right, there's that. What do you guys think? There it is. All right. Is it Oh, good. Okay. So, I should make all you guys, yeah, let's, I'm going to make you guys wait. I'm going to make you wait for all the numbers and stuff, because we're going to take this out first. I know, I'm a jerk. You're a jerk. I'm a jerk. We're going to take this out, too. So we're going to take these out. This is how I find that the easiest way to do this, because you can kind of set your hand right there and just, instead of yank, you don't want to do this. Nobody likes doing this with a tool in their hand, okay? Guys, I know this is, I know if your phone was recording, you know, while you were holding it this fashion, there'd be a lot of this happening. You're really gross. I know. But uh, if you set your hand like this and just kind of grab and then just kind of use your hand as a, and just rock this way, do a little rocking, you can just kind of lift them out without gouging, scratching. I know. Stu Mac makes a thing. I don't need that thing. So there, that can stay there. We're not going to desolder anything. Possibly the jack, because I'm assuming the jack has probably been changed. I don't think the jack is original. Um, but, ooh, wow, look at this. Yeah, that doesn't... Oh, man, that thing is super cool. All right, let's... You guys want to see it? You want to see it, don't you? Yeah. All right, all right. I'm not going to be a jerk. You guys want to see the numbers. Ready? Ready? Da, 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 da. Drum roll. Here we go. It is. This is my first time seeing it. Ooh, my phone's getting a little skippy there. That was weird. There it is. Coming in. 1964. Two. Oh, wow. This is... Uh, that would be my brother's birth date month. He was not born in 1964, but that is his birthday. That's kind of neat. I don't think he watches these, but uh, happy birthday. It just happened. We didn't do anything. It's our birthday present to each other. We don't do anything for each other. It's like, here, save money. We did that one Christmas, and it was like, hey, that actually works. Anyway, let's see what else we can see. I see, here, let's see another CCC. Check this out. Here's, there is a, I don't know how much has been done by Fender Factory, but that is pretty well stuck in there. I'm going to leave it alone because the neck angle is good. Saddles are good. I'm not going to mess with that. That could be Fender Factory. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's take this out. Here we go. Or actually, I'll even tell you what I'll do for you guys. Just for all you vintage nerds, I will make, I will put these screws back in the order in which they were removed. How's about that for keeping it accurate? Hopefully I remember to do that. If not, well, we tried. But we're going to basically start it, start at this corner, go around, and then left to right. Okay? I might ask you guys later probably forget. Let's take this out. Oh, come on, come on. There it is. That one. There we go. A little sideways. That's how you can tell they've also been out because they're already sideways. That means that they're out. The pit guard shrunk and they had to put them back in like this. It happens. Kind of a fender thing. You can see there's little cracks at the, the edge. That. I think these are a little longer, so we will keep these over here. All right. I'm going to tighten up this 
row. Okay, we're gonna put them back there in order like that. I know it's a little anal retentive, but I don't know that the last guy didn't do that. So we're gonna do that. Okay? Okay, good. Glad you guys agree. Okay, now. Here, you guys wanna come in close? Look at that cool old pick guard. Don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buff anything out of that. We're not gonna make this thing crazy. We're just gonna clean it up. We're not gonna go nuts. Oh yeah, look at that. There it is. Huh? Any of you guys seen one of these in the wild? Oh, look at that. That's some that looks like vintage fender solder or a chunk of, of wire. Look at that. That right there. That could potentially have Leo Fender's DNA all over it. He could have worked on this. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll lay that over there and, uh, you know, bury it at sea or something. Um, look at the cool kind of yellow gold undercoat there. I've tried to have the light, at least through my phone screen, as accurate as I can to what I'm seeing. No messing with it. That's awesome. All right. Oh, there's a spot there. So I can use some... Aha. I can use some cleaner to see what it does to that. Just to see what's going to... Just to make sure it doesn't damage anything out here. I don't think it will. These finishes were pretty rugged. Let's take a look at this. Swing on in. So... Yeah, the switch. I, I don't, boy, if it was, it was done a long time ago. That solder is pretty old. Here, you guys want to see? Swing in closer. There it is. Pots look good. Look at that vintage tape. Here, wait, let me just remove that. Put, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't remove the tone tape. Yeah, I'm going to pick up 60. Oh, what is that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Houston? We may have a problem. How can it... How can it have 1964 pickups? Let's say 1965 on them. Uh-oh. Hmm. We may have to get a hold of our current owner of this here guitar, because this could have been swapped let's investigate further shall we uh, maybe here let's see if they would have changed this it would have been here let's swing in they'd have to do this either here or on the trim claw and that looked pretty good from what I remember so let's zoom in what do we think oh yeah that I don't know Hmm, that's, that looks like it could have been desoldered. I bet it, I bet it was. What do you guys think? Huh. It kind of looks like maybe, maybe yes. Just because with, with guitars, not that I usually care about stuff like this, but with guitars of this value and if people state that it's 100% original we gotta make sure that's 100% original because you know this thing costs more than your average car well maybe not now but um that's very this is a very expensive guitar if it's uh if it is what it's claiming to be so let's swing out and let's investigate a little further uh let's see what the jack looks like put this back for a second oh that is so cool Yeah, I mean, I'd say the jack has been most likely been changed. They 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 most likely have. That's yeah, that solder is a, a bit. Is that solder? That's all that there. Solder is much more much more older or newer than the older solder. All right, swing that back out. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the back of the bridge. We'll also try to keep these in order. Let me get the correct bit so we don't chowder up those there 
them there screw heads. Don't want to mess them up. Right? Actually, first, because we don't know how things are with old parts that I don't want to break. Let's just make sure. Okay. Just make sure that none of them are wanting to be. Okay, we're good. All right. You never know. All right, so we're going to point those there and line them up. Also keep them correct. I'm not going to take the saddles off. We're just going to give it a good scrubbing. Oop, wrong, wrong, sir. wrong, sir. You are wrong. There we go. Next. Yeah, we're just going to take the bridge out, give it a good scrubbing, lube everything up. I wish I had an ultrasonic cleaner. I, now I think I need one. because so I would love to just dunk this in one and just let it go to town. Soak it in some PB Blast and then soak it in an ultrasonic cleaner. That'd be great. Look at that. That is some vintage filth. Look at that. More DNA from the previous owner. Let's take a little, little shot for the, the nerds afterwards. You guys want to see the holes in the back? I know you do. Don't be dirty. Have to. Oh, yeah, look at that. Huh? What do you think? I think it's super cool. Let's put that over here. Parts laid out nicely. All right. So for now, let's, let's see. I don't think there's anything else really need to i'm not going to buff this headstock for sure because that huh, nope that thing is made of nope look at that we are not going to buff that look how perfect that old here oh it's upside down that's dumb let's put this back like this sorry i'm also thinking about hitting you know what's going to look good on for you guys for thumbnails and whatnot so sorry if it's you know a little weird sometimes my production team is off today i gave them the day off oh that's right i don't have a production team um i'm not even gonna take we know it's there i don't care you all right fine Urgh. you know i know you i know i know we gotta see your d-hole i know everybody whoops everybody has to see the d right gonna make sure Make double sure because we couldn't trust that it's just it is you, know? you watch it say like mighty might under there or something silly that'd be funny oh if it looks like it's locked in there then i'm not i don't want to break old finish nope you know what I'm gonna stay a mystery I'm not doing it I'm not gonna cause destruction negative sir negative sorry guys you can't see my d-hole on this one Usually I'm pretty, I'm pretty fearless when it comes to working on old things, but there's also times when it's like, just don't, just don't, didn't, it's unnecessary. We know it's real. The, uh, the new owner, if he comes in and lays down some cash or to the, not to me, like I said, I don't, this doesn't belong to me, but if they do a deal and then he wants to take me, have me take that out, I will. I have no problem doing it, but I won't do it right now. Just for you guys here let's put a little bit of a lube in there lube makes everything better this is some light machine oil we're also going to get it from right up here because it kind of gets in the gears on this side oh oh that's not all the way down that one's up look at that oh we gotta fix that we gotta fix you good thing i did that huh that wasn't the one. That's the G. Okay. Now, which one was that? Let's see. Why are you up in the air? Do you just... Oh, 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 no. Oh, good thing I didn't pull on that. That's also what she said. I know what happened. Look at that. Fender. Fender factory defect from 1964. See, see, they've been doing it for years. 
Fender started with factory flaws, right? Here, watch this. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, you Fender nerds are like going to lose your mind. Look at that. See that? Factory defect. Leo. Leo. Bad Le Leo. You are fired, Leo. Somebody get rid of Leo. Leo failed. <laughs> oh, you Fender nerds are going to like, you're going to love that. All right. Okay, Leo, I'll fix your work. This is L on it. I'm, I'm, there's L on that serial number. I'm going to assume Leo Fender himself worked on this, and now I'm fixing his work. And you guys can't prevent that from happening. Oh, sorry. Here, let's, uh, so you're not staring at my knuckles. Let's do, let's fix Leo's mistake. Fixing Leo's mistake. Oh, that'll be the title. Oh my God, that'll make people lose their mind. Fixing Leo's mistake, 1964. All right. Here we go, Leo. Let's get this a little more. Oh, we're going to have to take them all the way out. Oh, bad, Leo. All right. All right, Leo. Let's take these all the way out. We'll get a little more, a little more clearance there, Leo. It's okay. I know this is probably, you know, you didn't make many by this time. We'll let it slide. Maybe, I don't know. We'll have, we'll have HR talk to Leo. He needs, a, Leo needs a meeting with the Bobs. I think. <laughs> you guys get that one, huh? 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 Come on. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? He, he is definitely having a problem with his TPS reports. <clears throat> right? Oh, come on. See, it's not so easy. Yeah, Leo, they didn't do it right. Factory flawed. Everything about it. Oh, man. Even back in 64, they were messing things up. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, you guys are getting probably like, turn off your caps, caps locks. I'm trying to fix it. But I can't be like, oh, this was the best thing ever made. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix are now inside me. You know, it's just, it's what it is. Leo messed it all up. I'm just going to keep saying that just because I know it's going to irritate lots of people. All right, let's see what's really going on here. Take that one out. All right, we're going to keep these in line. Keep them in line, just like you guys. You just keep yourselves in line there. Okay, there's that one out. All right, let's, let's pull this offender out. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Um, that one there. Okay, pieces in line. What was happening here? What do we do? What Leo mess up? Is it bent? Is it not sitting flat because of this? That could be it. It might be not sitting flat. Sorry if you're staring at my knuckles again. It might be not sitting flat because that piece might not be fully bent down. Leo using inferior parts. Obviously. Here, let's let me find my machinist square. We'll see if that is the issue. Oh, oh what's that right there? Oh, that could be it. That's probably it. Bump. We gotta fix that. All right. So, no, that's. Oh, there we go. That seems. Well, yeah, that seems okay. This side, that seems okay. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not bent. It's not hitting on that good. I didn't want to have to crimp that or pound on this old metal. So that's not the problem. I bet it's right there. What do you guys think? Now, hey, bonus. You guys get to see the D hole. Yay, we get to see your D-hole. All right, okay. How about we swing up for the big reveal? What do you guys think? So, it's still stuck. Did somebody try to, oh man, now I have to mess with it. Ooh, okay, we'll pull this one out. What else is stuck? What else did Leo mess up here? Put this, okay, tuner. Screw, screw, oh, what are we doing? What'd you do, Leo? Did someone try to glue that? I don't, that's not holding anything, but let's take it out of there so we don't accidentally launch it if these things pop out of there. So grab you, put you over there. Screws can all live over there together in a row. Okay, all the screws, tuners can live together over there cool all right what's going on here what 
Ooh, there we go. Okay. Got it. Got it. Just needs to wiggle it a little bit. Look. There it is. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's popped right up. But there it is. There's the deal. Oh. oh, man. You guys need a minute? I can pause the video. You need to grab a Kleenex or something. You're so gross. Okay, anyway, now, after we've shown off our D-hole and taken those off now that I didn't want to, I guess we can give it a light, light cleaning. We're not going to go nuts on this headstock. Nope. Again, this logo is like it was put on with hopes and dreams, so we're not going to, I don't want to wipe anything on that. Negative Ghost Rider. But let's fix, let's fix this. Let's get our bag of shocks. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is tap that down and just stabilize it with some super glue. So hold tight there. I got to get my my big bat my big bag of shot. Hold on. Pause. All right, we are back. So let's you guys can come down and look at it like this direction. How about that? Because I'm going to need some overhead access. All right, let's bring in our oops, sorry, bonk. Bring in our hammer and. Let's first see just how much we get to work. This is like the brass punch. Okay, yeah, see we got a little flexy spot there. I'm just trying to get any little wood fibers just to settle, settle the F down, okay? Now they're trying to fix Leo's giant mistake. That seems a little better. Right there, I don't wanna damage damage as little of the finish or anything as possible. I know this is definitely for the weenies out there. There we go. Okay. That's, that's much more better. I know I've lost a little finish. Well, I know sacrifices had to be made. Ooh, I need a toothpick. Hold on. Hold on. Need some precision. Su superior glue application. So we're gonna go right. I'm not even trust to trust this pipette over that guitar. We're gonna do it like this, because again, I ain't messing it up if it can be avoided. Just do that, and just transfer a little bit over. Do that. A little more. Oh, come on. There we go. There's a good drop. There, that's what we wanted. Get it right down in that hole. And what that'll do, especially once I press this down and hit it with the accelerator. Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Hit it with the accelerator. And then just kind of lean towards the hole so it doesn't tear up any more finish. Give it a second. And so what that does by flooding the... the, the uh, hole with super glue is it stabilizes any old thread channel that's in there because what happened was some somebody that obviously wasn't all the way down was caught on the edge and they just tried to keep screwing it and it pulled up this thing stripped it out just a little bit so that was leo's giant horrific he should have just quit sold the company to gibson mistake I'm just going to keep riding that just till the end of this video, just so you guys know. Just because I love irritating fender nerds. It's one of my favorite things. And we're just making sure that we don't, that we didn't clog up that. Nope. Nope. We're good. We did not clog up that old hole. Whew. Leave that, leave that one alone. That's, we don't, it's a family channel, mostly. All right, there we go. Oh, and look, this is how it's supposed to, when they're all in line like that, that's how it's supposed to go. I'm looking at you, Fender Custom Shop. So we're going to give this thing a light fret leveling also. Um, and this is this could end up being a two-part video because uh, I want to take my time with this guitar. And we might save the, the final string up and everything for tomorrow. We'll see how this goes because I don't want to make it too long. I know you guys don't want to watch my silliness that long. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up, 
save the fret leveling for later. Maybe I'll do that as a time lapse and then do just like a sound test. We'll do it like that. We'll get this cleaned up as we dare. And we'll also hang up this thing somewhere. So actually, we'll put this right back in the, oh no, in the case. We'll put tuners back on it though. Wow. I was getting ahead of myself. All right, anyway. Jeez, that was... See, I told... I do need more coffee. You guys like, yeah, I need more coffee. Yeah, I do. I do, because look at that. I almost made this horrible, horrifically awful mistake as Leo did. I wouldn't want to be as bad of a guitar tech as Leo. I'm just... I'm, I'm just going to keep doing that. Yeah, see, look at that. It's fixed. I fixed Leo's mistake. All right, Leo. We'll let, we'll let it slide this time. But, uh... I don't know, man. This guy bears watching. Obviously. This guy can't even put in a screw. Whoop. That was Leo making me drop stuff. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> see, I almost pulled a Leo. Let's see. I, unlike Lee, all right, all right, all right, I'll stop, you guys. Turn, turn off. I'm going to answer the crab, and I would never do boo 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 All right. I'm having fun. Offender guy's expenses. That's how it, you know, come on. Come on. Have a sense of humor. Right? And what I'm doing here, this will be, I want to get the two outside ones in as if possible. Because this is obviously kind of a tight fit. So, oh boy. Boy, that's tight. She tight. Let's do this. Man. Oh. All right. Wow. We're going to have to do it like this. Yeah, see? Leo didn't even, didn't even manufacture this thing correctly. <laughs> All right. We'll go there first. All right. So that one goes there. I'm going pretty far for you nerds have to have everything in the exact same thing that it, exactly the same happened in the day that this guitar was chopped down somewhere in the tree forest thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Boy, maybe... And again, I'm not gonna... I am not gonna, like, force anything. If that has to be like that, then that's how it's gonna be. I'm not gonna grind tuners and... You know, it'll just have to be that way. I fixed where that was stripped out. And if one has to overlap, well, then this is just another uh, defect by Leo. That could have been GNL's name. Defective guitars by Leo. You stop picking on me, yo. I can hear it all now. Oh, yeah. One of these is going to have to go, be overlapping. Wow, that's a bummer. Huh. Yeah. Maybe it's because the wood shrunk over time. Hmm. I don't like it, the one... I don't like having the one that was all stripped out. Maybe... I've never had that happen, really. They're usually fairly tight. It's, yeah, it's definitely right in here. Let's see. Ooh, let's see. All right. We're going to try to, like, bring these down to together ish oh come on come on Here, let's loosen this one up i'd love to have these all line up but that may not be able to happen be able to happen if i could be able to talk would be nice that may not be in the cards either oh come on come on let's try you know i know that i want us to keep them in line but let's see what happens if we swap these maybe Maybe that'll help, and I will, I will totally own it if that works better. It could be a tuner that was, like, mismanufactured. Ooh, that might work better. Let's, let's try that. Oh, man. No, not so much. Let's put that back. Boy, that's... that's what if we do this? Could we get it to... It's just... I don't think it's going to work. I think the thing's going to have to stay slightly up like that. Yeah, because I'm not going to grind on those old tuners. Again, if someone buys this and wants that done, 
I'll do it. But negative, sir. I'm not going to do that otherwise. All right, I guess let's try that. Let's try putting that screw back in. And maybe we can walk it that way. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's not going to be any worse than when it left the factory, when Leo first messed it up. think so. I think this thing does not have enough room. No. There's no way, sir. There's just no way. Let's see. I don't want to lift it up out. Oh, I got one. I'm going to try to push it down. Could I? Oh, 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 oh. oh dumbass. That was not... That was less intelligent than I wanted that to be. There we go. <laughs> oh, maybe? Maybe I can walk it down in there. Let's let's see if we can do that. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on, I'm gonna try to push down and kind of walk this back down in. I guess I could take I don't want to clamp anything. Again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin any finish with this guitar clamping things to it. Oh, come on. Oh, we're going. I think we're going. Come on. Come on. You know you want to go in there. And I don't, definitely don't want to break a screw off in this. So if this seems like it's going to start really fighting me, we're going to stop. Yeah, that one's pretty tight. Nope. That's, that's the nope spot. On your torque wrench, there's a nope setting. And that's right where that screw is. It's at the nope stop spot. So, that one, we'll tighten all these, and we'll just have to live with uh, Leo's horrible defect in this guitar. All right? Sorry, Leo. We should just, you know what? We'll get a replacement neck. What do you guys think? We'll call it Fender. You know, we have friends that, uh, um, we know the guys at Stratosphere. You know, they're good friends of ours. And Keenan has been in here doing some techery. And he's actually got a really good... He's good at it. Dude, tell you what. you got you got some skills already. It's great. There, we'll put that back in there. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll throw a, a Stratosphere neck on it. We'll get one of the aged. Just because we want it to be authentic, right? A nice aged... Custom shop. Yeah, custom shop. Sure, right? Throw a custom shop neck on it. It'll be cool. We wouldn't want... That would... Nope. Couldn't have that. Anyway, now that we've uh, gone full investigation mode on that, let's, uh, let's see if we can clean up this finish. I think I might end up... Yeah, we're almost time, so let's... We'll end up time-lapsing this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some light... I'm going to alternate between like light uh, Dawn detergent mixed in with water, like I'm talking like, you know, warm water, <clears throat> that much. You know what I mean? Not much. And then also, this stuff has good, the Taylor Satin Guitar Polish. Satin Guitar Polish. Um, let's see what it does. It's pretty low risk. Let's see if it immediately gets all sticky. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is. Let's just let's hit this for now with this for now and see what happens. We'll start getting rid of that. Oh, look at the filth! Ew! Oh, gross! Ew! Oh, this thing's gonna be cool when we're done with it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh man, you guys missed all the grossness. Sorry, I had to censor that part anyway. It was fully disgusting. Maybe I won't time lapse it. This stuff's gonna come right off. I figured it would need lots of uh, repeated applications. Oh, there we go. Look at that filth. Ew. All right, here we go. Wipes the whole thing. <laughs> whole finish comes off. Yee! Oh! That. A little bit more DNA under there, I'm sure. Okay. 
I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, we'll see. We'll see if I, if I wanna buff this out or not once it, once we get all this filth off it. Oh, I just wanna be like, it's just, it's just like, it's like a topographical map of that. And those were things that us old people used to see when we went to a place called the library. Okay, so let's, hold on, let me get my, uh, my dish detergent prepped. Ready, set, pause. All right, there's our water and, you know, it's like, you know, maximum tap water hot with some Dawn dish detergent. Let's just see what we do here. Oh yeah, look at that filth. Yeah, see the owner thought this was finish. It's like, no, it is not. No, it is not. This is more DNA. Look at that, there we go. Ew, oh, filthy. All right, let's go. You know, I wonder, I bet this guitar has seen some stuff, huh? a little bit there maybe over the years so we're not gonna buff it we're just gonna take off the we'll see we'll see if we get I see missing finish here so we want to be real careful don't want to do anything destructive it's already a lot better Still gonna have some wear there. It's, the guy's arm has actually gone through the finish. Yeah, look at that. It's cool. Nice. And then it won't do that thing, you know, when you spray guitar polish on an old finish where it instantly gets cloudy and sticky. You do this, it'll get rid of a lot of that because it's basically just the old filth from every every bar and club that this thing's been in and I know I know that's where all the tones are I'm washing away the tones goodbye tones yeah. this thing's in remarkable shape other than the, you know, the arm wear there but that's okay you know he's gone through the first layer of finish it's kind of cool actually they spray these with the the light stuff first and then progressively darker and he hasn't gone into the wood yet but it's it's not far next guy's job it's your job there buddy we're ruins this thing i'm gonna keep it going i'll just hang it on a wall here to whatever blues lawyer ends up with this thing oh yeah see how it got all white there and then it's like and then keep wiping it off there you go a lot of people see that, you know, when it gets all white and cloudy, like, oh, no, I'm ruining it. No, you're not. It's just the, that's the filth. It's the filth dying. Okay, this thing is looking fantastic, if I do say so myself. It's amazing this guy found at a yard sale for 25 bucks. I'm not, I, I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. I'm so kidding. That did not happen. He's dead. He could die with dead. No, 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 no. It was a hundred dollars. No, no, I'm kidding. Kidding. I don't know what he paid for it. Don't, I don't care. But it was a lot. I'm sure this came from, I think, the uh, Texas guitar show. Here, let's, can we get a little more? Slag? There we go. That'll be right here. Let me get put this over here let's set this like that so we're not clunking too much right right sound good to you guys but yeah i don't know how much this thing actually cost costed it cost it cost it costs or what was spent on it could have involved trades trades personal favors deals with the devil i don't know
but wouldn't it be cool? You know, these things are still out there. Imagine if this was just some old dude's guitar and grandkid got it, just brought into a music store. Those things happen. That happened to a, uh, what was it? The owner of the store. Or no, the, uh, the customer service guy, like the online service, the customer service guy just got a random message from a dude. Where was he? He wasn't too far away, but it was like a couple of states away about just half an old guitar. And it turned out to be some kind of uh, vintage Martin acoustic from like the 30s. Uh, he ended up, uh, we ended up negotiating a deal with Martin that's going to be in their museum, you know, and he just, just randomly just messaged us, says, hey, I have this. And they would have taken any, they would have taken like, if someone would have said it was worth $500, they would have taken that and smiled. You know, luckily, luckily the owner here was a stand-up guy and told him, look, this is, this is what this is, and you need to, yes, we want it, but we need to give them a fair price, and they did. I don't know what it was, but it was, it was much, 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 much more than what they were assuming it was worth. I think the guitar is going to be, once it's restored, Martin's going to restore it through, through them. Um, and uh, when they do, they're they're not going to sell it. But I think it, I think the value of it is going to be in like the the seventy to a hundred thousand dollar mark when they're done, which is just uh, just insane. It's like that one that uh, where the Kurt Russell smashed. I don't think it was quite as valuable as that one, but you know those things are still out there. Imagine, imagine just cruising the yard sale. And just being like, oh, what's in the old guitar case? Eh, well, it's old guitar. It was grandpa. It was grandpa's. Yeah, 25 bucks. There you go. Have it be like a pre-war Martin 59 Les Paul. That's what I want to find. Uh, myself and uh, Gorilla Guitar Wife, we definitely enjoy yard sailing. And that would, that's, that's, like the, that's like the dream, you know. Finding an old, beat-up alligator case. That would be a 59 LP in there. An old burst. And again, they are still out there. Probably not 59, but old guitars like that are. You know, that dude that did the one on uh, the Goodwill one. I'd be happy with that. You know, just find a half-broken one. I'll fix it. I'll fix whatever. Oh, look at all that filth Ugh. look at it look at this is, I just took this rag off off the roll and this is just all the filth that's coming off but that's good this thing's going to be a half a pound lighter when I'm done with it look at it oh there's that there's now we're starting to see it there it is look at that you guys are seeing it for the first time in how many years many many years here we go and again people are so worried about like you're gonna damage it it's, it's, it's okay again they made these for guys to use you know you know let's swing out a little bit so I can let this dangle it's off like that and you guys can come out here okay here let's see if we can swing it around like this and not drop things on the floor that would be fantastic. But we'll get this. So now I'm not going to get my workbench all filthy. And see if you guys can swing in like that. All right. How's that? That work for everybody involved? Kind of. There we go. That's better. That's better. Now we can all see. All right. I expect Mr. Mr. Ben is going to be in pretty soon. And I was talking about doing the gear review things with him. So we'll see if he wants to say hello. I'm going to tell him to work clean, though. He tends to say things that are not exactly YouTube friendly, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> you think I'm snarky and uh, sarcastic and offensive, and you have no idea. You know, what if they get a load of me? Oh, that was great timing. Do you guys hear that? Ambulance just went flying by when I said that. But this is Manchester. 
Man, this is Manch Angeles, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. And some kind of siren goes flying by at least 12 times a day. So it's not exactly a... The odds are good. that <laughs> Anytime I could be saying something, that there's going to be some sort of... In the background. We are right on Elm Street. So for those of you who know the area, it's very popular amongst... People who say don't drive a car. Let's just say that. Uh, or don't own a car. Or much of anything. Alright, give that filth. That filth. Man, that is super cool though. Oh, you're ruining it. that all right turn this thing around Put it on this side for a little bit and I'm cleaning it in like quadrants and I should probably just time lapse the rest of this out we're at quite a while I think I think we're almost to an hour 45 minutes or something we don't want to go too long um, tell you what, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do both. I'll just keep you jibber jabbering and I'll say, if I go to a time-lapse, we'll see if the video gets too long. If I think it's gotten too long, I'll just time-lapse it out. Otherwise I'll sit here and talk to myself for nothing. You know what I mean? This is pretty mindless work. So I'm going to do it on autopilot. What about you guys? What's the oldest? What's the oldest piece that you guys have worked on? Any of our tech people? One of these? No. All right. You know what? I might. It's almost time for us to uh, open for employees and whatnot. So let's close this out for now. That's what we're gonna do. This video's getting long enough. That's the decision. I've made it. This is gonna be a part one. You guys are going to have to stick around for part two. But you know why? You know how you do that? You know the easiest way to seeing this guitar in its finished form? Guess how? It's by hitting subscribe. That's just how it works. I didn't make the rules. I didn't do it. So. Sorry. I was grabbing a, a dry rag. Hey, look how dirty. So dirty. She's dirty. It's so dirty. It's kind of disturbing, huh? Ew, don't worry. Don't worry. Do this a few times. Do this a few times. Just keep going back and forth. A tuner. A tuner. Jeez. Cleaner. Polish. And soap. Do this a few more times. Let it kind of chill. And we'll get it down. We've gone through the first layer. But, we're going to call it good for now. Thanks for watching. Closing out video. Stay tuned. Gorilla Guitar Repair, I do have hundreds, yes, hundreds, multiple hundreds of videos in my back catalog. So, I would appreciate if you guys go check them out. Tell me which ones are terrible. Really, seriously. Some are. Most are. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Stay tuned. Part two. See ya.